derive an equation for donor membrane equilibrium when a solution of an electrolyte containing a non diffusible ion is separated by means of a semi permeable membrane from a solution having both diffusible ions and non diffusible ion then it is found that the electrolytes gets unequally distributed consider that a sodium chloride solution is separated from a solution of sodium r where r is non diffusible ion the sodium and chloride ions can diffuse into the other compartment in pairs so that electrical neutrality is not disturbed if a solution of sodium r is placed on one side of the membrane and on the other side water is placed then sodium ions cannot diffuse because it will disturb the electrical neutrality this phenomena of distribution of an electrolyte in the presence of non diffusible ion was first predicted by gibbs and later on was demonstrated and proved by donan hence such type of equilibrium is known as donan membrane equilibrium consider a solution of sodium chloride of concentration c1 is separated from a solution of sodium r having concentration c2 by means of a semi permeable membrane when the diffusion takes place x grams of sodium chloride passes from left hand side to right hand side therefore the concentrations of sodium and chloride ions at equilibrium at left hand side are c1 minus x while the sodium concentration on right hand side is c2 plus x and the concentration of r minus is c2 while there is extra chloride ions arriving from the left hand side so the concentration of chloride ions at right hand side is x according to thermodynamics at equilibrium the chemical potential of identical species present on both the sides of membrane must be same the chemical potential mu is given by equation mu is equals to mu0 plus rt ln a where mu0 is the standard chemical potential and a is the activity of the species therefore at equilibrium chemical potential of first hand side of nacl must be equals to chemical potential of second hand side of nacl let's substitute the values therefore mu0 nacl1 plus rt natural log of activity of nacl1 is equals to mu0 nacl2 plus rt natural log of activity of nacl2 as the standard chemical potential is constant therefore we can cancel mu0 nacl and also r and t gets cancelled therefore activity of nacl1 is equals to activity of nacl2 therefore activity of sodium into activity of chloride 1 is equals to activity of sodium 2 into activity of chloride 2 if the solution is very dilute the activities can be replaced by molar concentrations so we can write concentration of sodium 1 into concentration of chloride 1 is equals to concentration of sodium 2 into concentration of chloride 2 substituting the respective concentrations so concentration of sodium from the first side is c1 minus x and also for the chloride is c1 minus x so let's substitute these values so c1 minus x into c1 minus x is equals to c2 plus x into x let's simplify this equation c1 square minus 2 x c1 plus x square is equals to x c2 plus x square let's cancel x square we get c1 square minus 2 x c1 is equals to x c2 or c1 square is equals to x c2 plus 2 x c1 therefore c1 square is equals to x c2 plus 2 c1 or x by c1 can be given as c1 divided by c2 plus 2 c1 the term x by c1 is the fraction of total sodium chloride that diffuses across the membrane that is from left hand side to right hand side to have the concentration of sodium chloride same on both the side of membrane the condition to be maintained is x by c1 must be equals to 1 by 2 the concentration differences due to donan equilibrium are useful to account for the swelling of certain gels for difficulties in osmotic pressure measurement on protein solutions 
for the establishment of potential difference across membrane etc. Thank you.